Welcome to modifying an OAuth 1A implementation to support customer requirements. In previous videos, we've demonstrated how to use the Layer 7 OAuth Toolkit to support various access control scenarios, including versions 1 and 2 of the OAuth specification. Though the OAuth 2 specification is more fully fleshed out than previous versions, it's not exactly stable yet, and OAuth 1A is still the most widespread implementation due to its longer period of adoption in the marketplace. Our customers often use this earlier version to maximize interoperability with other systems, but require functionality that isn't necessarily provided in that spec. Today we're going to focus on the flexibility and rapid time to market provided by Layer 7's OAuth Toolkit, and how you can incorporate custom parameters and business logic to achieve your objectives quickly and easily. The Layer 7 OAuth Toolkit provides support for multiple versions of OAuth out of the box, and can be incorporated into an application in a vanilla manner if you and your partners all support the specification as written. However, we find that nearly every enterprise wants some sort of customization, so we'll show you how that can be accomplished using our award-winning policy language. In this case, we're going to add the ability to shorten a token lifespan depending on the platform being used by the user. So if the user is coming in via mobile device, the token will have a much shorter lifespan to provide security in the event of a lost or stolen phone. We're simply going to add a custom lifespan value if the user has come in from a mobile device. Therefore, we will edit the policy that is generating tokens and sets token lifetimes. We can navigate to the OAuth 1 policies and select the Generate Token fragment. The toolkit already parameterizes the type of token based on the specification, whether unauthorized request, authorized request, or access token. The toolkit also parameterizes the lifespan value itself, so this setting can vary with the type of token. You can see this branching logic allows custom values for each known token type. Now we're going to add the logic to detect whether the user is on a mobile device. We have full access to the request metadata, so we can analyze the browser's user agent and check against some subset of mobile phones. In this case, we're looking for Blackberries, Nokias, or Samsungs, but this could really check for just about anything you want. The user agent is available in what we call context variables, along with lots of other metadata that might be useful to you. The request is from one of these devices. We'll set a mobile flag to true. Otherwise, we'll set the mobile flag to false. Now we'll add some simple logic to set the lifespan using this flag. We'll put it in the section for authorized and unauthorized tokens, since those are all that we care to modify. If the user is mobile, we'll set the token lifespan to 1 minute. Otherwise, we'll leave it at 5 minutes. As you can see, by allowing you to modify your OAuth usage in our policy language, Layer 7's OAuth Toolkit can account for customization in yours or your partner's implementation of the specification. It can add dynamic, identity-based logic if necessary, and it can help bridge the gap between the current 1.0 implementations and 2.0 implementations that will become more common as the specification settles down. Thank you for watching.